Fortnite is a game that was a tremendous success beyond anyone's expectations. It was initially developed using Unreal Engine 4, but with the release of Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 1, the developers at Epic Games have at last done what they have been promising gamers and have upgraded the entire game over the Unreal Engine 5, the latest version of its own graphics engine that has some amazing new technologies that will certainly take video games to another level, with even bigger success from both technical and visual perspectives. Developers over at Epic Games admitted that Battle Royale in Fortnite was probably one of the most technically challenging gameplay experience that they have ever faced. It has the largest map with the most players and the most platforms. Initially, we started evaluating how to do a traditional mobile port of Fortnite. Um, do we create a different map with a different content team? Do we import the same map um, but reduce the density or the quality of the assets? Uh, do we take the same map and just cut up a smaller portion of the, uh, of the map? Let's not forget that Fortnite is available on PC, Mac, PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5, in addition to Xbox One and Series X and S. Furthermore, we have Nintendo Switch and Android 2, a thing that requires a huge amount of optimization across all these platforms. The map of Fortnite is about 2.5 by 2.5 kilometers, and it is technically the first Unreal Engine game that the developers built internally utilizing level streaming. Technicians inside Epic had to do some very dedicated server optimization, in addition to the work dedicated for all the platforms is included in the game, and it shows the philosophy of Epic which is implying when working on the video game, one of the most important parts is the philosophy, which is making sure that the games have the highest visual fidelity and performance on whatever platform players are playing on. The amazing thing about Fortnite is not just that people love to play the game, but how it's become a really social experience. We're hearing about people playing with their real-life friends, their brothers, their sisters, and even their parents. So, in a way, it made perfect sense for the mobile version to be the same game and allow crossplay with other platforms. Because with, with that, you know, you could play Fortnite wherever you want, whenever you want, with all of your friends, no matter what platform or device they're playing on. Another big part of what we believe is a critical success of the game is the ability of developers to make the gameplay impactful and constantly improving the player's experience by improving the technology inside Unreal Engine and upgrading it all the time, which is something that Epic Games are known for and they have dedicated for as well. One thing that seems to be very critical when designing the game is the symbiotic relationship between the games that Epic Games are developing such as Fortnite and the Unreal Engine, because ultimately everything leads back to the engine and how investing in it and upgrading it and making it better on a continuous basis is actually the key to allow developers around the world to be able to deliver some of the most successful experiences such as Fortnite for example. To sum it all up, we can say that Fortnite's success involves people both on the engine side and the game development side. A few hundreds of people all contributing at the same time to achieve the same goal. Let's take as an example Fortnite and how it is being built inside the Unreal Engine. When it comes to animations, for example, this is how the characters are built inside the game. It's actually a modular character with five different meshes, meaning that we have one base skeleton which doesn't have any geometry on it. It's just the bones that are animated with the logic of movement. And there are four meshes that include the head mesh, the body mesh, back bling, which could be a backpack or something similar to that. In addition to the weapon that the character is holding, all of these have separate animation graphs running, which copy some of the information from the base skeleton but can add some behaviors on top, which could be physics simulations or additional animations. This is a really cool system from a creative perspective since it allows developers to build all kinds of interesting stuff that people can obtain, because simply they have a lot of flexibility of adding new bones and simulations onto different things within the video game. Fortunately, Fortnite has been optimized further in the last months to take advantage of new hardware and features of the next-gen consoles, and the team responsible for developing the game have been slowly moving towards Unreal Engine 5 that was officially released in April 2022 meaning that both performance and visuals will improve now. With that being said, Unreal Engine 5 is still a fairly new engine and still being upgraded on a monthly basis to take advantage of all the new incredible tools that it offers. Epic Games believe that these new tools empower artists and designers to implement their vision comfortably, which can be true to a certain extent because it is basically for free until you make some profit on it. 
They help with consistency and managing the boring stuff, especially when it comes to your workflow, while streamlining the creative process. And since Fortnite has a unique set of development challenges, like the fact that it has a large open world that is being constantly updated, and with all the new features that are included in the Unreal Engine 5, such as virtual text screen, the new landscape slayer system, the non-destructive editing, custom blueprint brushes, Lumen and Nanite, the game can reach new levels of gameplay interactivity and visual fidelity with even larger maps and more players. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Also, you can check some of our previous videos if you want to watch videos like this. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.